Hey YouTube, welcome back to The Bearded Gentleman. I'm your host Cody McCain and today we're going to do a little cigar review. Today we'll be smoking the CLE Chile, is I guess how you say it. I'm going to use the Cigar Scanner app to give you some of the specs of it here. So it's made by CLE Cigar Company um, in Nicaragua. It says it's a medium strength cigar, Toro. This one comes, the one I'm smoking tonight is in um, 6x46 with an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, a nice Claro color. Um, we got a binder is Nicaraguan and the filler is also Nicaraguan. We got a box pressed cigar. So, I'm kind of a big fan of box press here. And what's cool about these CLE cigars is they have this tissue paper sleeve on them right here. It says Chile on it. I've had one of these before and I guess I'll kind of do a little comparison on, on the one I've had before. The one I had before is the, it was a little bit darker. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. I have it in my journal and I'll look when I start to smoke. But I think that's all the specs on the cigar here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this nice little sleeve off. And reveal more of this nice wrapper here. This is a really nice color, honestly. You can see the seams really easily in the wrapper. Um, that's kind of new for me. I'm, I've never really been able to see the seams of the wrapper on a cigar before. So this is that's kind of new to me. I'm, I don't really see many veins. So the the cap here. If I can get it to focus and let you see that, look how far down this comes. Like the tip of my fingers, like that is a deep cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a V cut on this one tonight, mainly because I mean I've been using that punch cut. This one right here actually. That was sent to me by Cigar Bore. If you can see that, let's see. There we go. However, this cigar is just a little bit too small to use that on, so I went ahead and I picked up actually today. Just a cheap little V cut. Try that out. It will be paired, as always, with a cup of coffee. It seems like very seldom when I do a review, I have something other than coffee. So let's go ahead and get this cut. Do a quick little cold draw on it. I don't really know how you are supposed to V cut a cigar. I'm gonna just do it long ways, like up and down. I don't know if you're supposed to do it long ways on a box press, but that's why I post this video. You guys can let me know down below if I'm just an idiot and doing it incorrectly, or if that's how you're supposed to do it. So, mm. I like the draw here, but right here at the cap, it's kind of a really loose pack, actually. The whole way down, this is, is kind of loose. This is not like the one that I had before. It's interesting to me. Oh, we have a little wrapper crack here. You can see that. Hmm. So far, um, compared to the other one that I've had, this one may just be a flaw. But compared to the other one that I've had, this one is subpar. So. The draw is really nice. Hmm. I don't really know. It's just kind of a mellow flavor there. I'm going to go ahead and light it up. And we'll get to smoking. Jeez, it's like I've never filmed a video before or smoked a cigar before. My lighter runs out of fluid. Camera dies. So, got to resort to the phone here. But nevertheless, it's always a good time to smoke a cigar. Even if it looks like you've never done it before. Let's get to toasting. Again. This for me is kind of really earthy. 
and like I usually do here, I'm going to go ahead and look at the cigar wheel. I posted a link to it in a previous video. I'll post it down below in this one. All I do is I light up and kind of take a look at this. I'm tasting earth and plants, so I'm going to look in the plants category that it has here, and maybe the nuts category. Mmm. There's a hay flavor to it. That's what that is. Hay, tobacco. Mm. Maybe a little almond there on the back side. Okay. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm getting right now. It's like hay, barnyard, like a musty kind of with the almond on the backside. It's it's nice. Not really what I was expecting when compared to that other CLE that I had mentioned before. Speaking of which, let me find that real quick. So the one I had before is this one right here. If you can see that here. This one was sweet, had some chocolate and spice, a little bit of floral in there. I really enjoyed that one. And this one is kind of on the contrast with, you know, the, the barnyard must, not really sweet, little almond here in the beginning, so. I'm gonna smoke this down quite a bit and get back to y'all. All right, guys, so we're back here with a, just like a 10 minute update here. We got a nice burn here. I'm still kind of getting those same flavors. Uh, what this reminds me of is my grandfather has a barn and he has a bunch of goats and it kind of reminds me of that in the sense of a barnyard because, you know, those animals are kept in a barn. smoke output is fantastic the draw is I mean it's as close to perfect as I think you can get so I'm gonna keep smoking here smoke it down see if I get any different flavors but first we're at like 42 subscribers I believe I believe at the time I'm making this video when we get to a hundred I have a giveaway that I plan on doing I'm gonna give away four things four what am I going to give away? I'm going to give away some ashtrays that I make by hand for you guys. So let me let me tell you how we can get to 100, okay? We can share this video, tell our friends about it. Hey, you have people who smoke cigars or want to smoke cigars? Send them this way. Just get get the channel out there. Let's get up to 100. And you have a 1 in 25 chance of winning an ashtray. What? <laughs> I, I'm serious. I'll make these by hand. I'll ship them to you for free. Like, Let's just get up to 100. That'd be pretty cool. Make me feel good inside. <laughs> but... I just wanted to remind y'all of the giveaway that I plan on doing when we reach a hundred. So I'm gonna keep smoking here, try to pick up some different flavors. But right now we're sitting at just that barnyard musty um, hay, those kind of flavors, earth, you know. It's really good, I'm not complaining. I like it a lot. And the, I mean, when you get the smoke output that this one's putting out, you can't really ask for too much more, you know? The flavor's staying pretty consistent throughout this cigar here, which is nice. No real change ups, no matter coffee. 
Okay, so one thing I do want to mention is this type of cigar, this, I mean, this is, I guess, medium body. I would say it's light. You know, I'm used to smoking cigars that will put you on your butt if you don't have a full stomach. So, this is kind of light for me. But I guess medium is, is where it sits. It's kind of a change up for me. Out of my wheelhouse. Not something I usually smoke. I don't know what came over me to buy this. Maybe it was this shiny wrapper. But I'm not I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's always good to try things that aren't you know what you would usually do. That's how you expand. expand beyond you know what you would be confined to is just get something a little bit different and that is that is this for sure now I'm used to those dark rich chocolate dried fruit flavors and this is not that this is light smooth musty earthy kind of tastes and it's enjoyable. I'm liking it. Now, would I smoke this on a regular basis? Probably not. It's just not my palate. But I'm going to keep on smoking it down here. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so we smoked it quite a bit down here. Made it all the way through the second, third. And something really interesting happened for me that I usually don't pick up on. But uh, there was like a, a flavor profile change. Um, it went from like that barnyard hay must it went actually to like started off with like a nice tobacco flavor into floral grass back to tobacco and we're kind of like mid tra transition here I believe um, through the tobacco back to barnyard and, and must and that kind of thing and I usually with these stronger cigars that I like to smoke I usually can't pick up on that so this is this is really enjoyable for me Usually, I don't smoke cigars past this point, but I'm going to keep smoking on this one because it's it's enjoyable. I, it doesn't taste burnt to me yet, and so I'm going to keep going. So stay tuned, and I'll give you my final thoughts here in just a second. All right, guys, so here's something that I, I don't want to say never, rarely do. Smoke it down to the band. I mean... I rarely, rarely do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that off before we start burning it. Let me see here. With ease. And it still does not taste burnt to me. Let me put this in the book. It still doesn't taste burnt. So, we're going to keep on puffing. Alright guys, it's starting to taste just a tad bit burnt here. I mean, I smoked this one way down when I compared it to other cigars that I've had. So, I'm going to take one last puff. Then I'm going to head inside to finish this video because my phone's about to die. Have I ever made a YouTube video before? You would think not. Alright guys, so I'm back inside here. i got to <clears throat> be a little bit quiet. And sorry about the lighting, it kind of is trashy but it's all I got you know refilled my coffee and if you can hear the cat purring well you're just gonna have to deal with that overall I enjoyed this it was something different for me and I took it for what it was and it was it was a good experience for me like I said in the beginning here, we started out with must, barnyard, hay, earth, those kind of flavors. And then got into the second third there and it changed up on me and went to like a floral, tobacco. It, well, it actually transitioned from like the barnyard flavor to tobacco into floral and grass, back to tobacco, and then back into the last third there that was um, barnyard, tobacco, must all the way down to the very end that you know I could smoke it so I really enjoyed this it was the CLE Chile um, you know 
here's the shiny little band which kind of caught my eye along with that nice tissue paper cover that was on it so that's been my review of that cigar and please like comment subscribe let's get this channel out there get a hundred subscribers so I can send out some ashtrays to you guys alright so thanks for watching and as always I am the bearded gentleman and roll it off in the ashtray that I made that I'll make for you guys we get to 100 subscribers